Apple and Xiaomi, two biggest company in both world just launched their new smartphone, iPhone 13 series, the iPhone 13, and Xiaomi 11 T series, Xiaomi T series. Both of their presentation all talks about a little stuff called cinematic video. Cinematic mode. Cinematic. So you can capture cinema style moments even if you aren't a professional. Now that was like a movie straight from Hollywood. As a filmmaker, I think making cinematic video is not that easy. You need to control your camera movement in the 3D space, and you need to control your lighting if you don't have any natural light. But if you have natural light, that's good. But most of the time, you got to create by yourself. And third, you got to have awesome story and if you have awesome story it's hard to capture these awesome moments by yourself because if you want to have cinematic movement and cinematic lighting and also do it all by yourself you will spend lots of time just setting up all the camera movement and camera angle that kind of stuff most consumers don't have access to those fancy stabilizer, gimbals, or lighting setup. What I really want is just take out your smartphone, take some pictures and videos, and those pictures and videos need to be awesome before the post-production. They really want is awesome picture and videos out of the box. In their presentation, just like, yeah, you can shoot movie with our smartphone. This cinematic feeling in your life. In a simple and intuitive way. Yeah, you definitely can shoot movie with any stuff, but who will actually want to shoot a movie with a smartphone? And those smartphones aren't cheap. So here's our new iPhone lineup. 749. You can buy a better mirrorless camera with a kit lens and shoot better image out of those cameras. And another thing about cinematic video is about control. How to control your camera. So in the camera side, you can control your ISO, shutter speed, and aperture. But in the smartphone, you just can control ISO and shutter speed. You cannot control your aperture. But in the iPhone 13, they're making something interesting. You can simulate the aperture effect in your smartphone by the software. You can change the depth effect, including the level of bokeh and where the focus is applied even after the capture. A filmmaker can create similar results out of cinema cameras or a smartphone because they can control and create whatever they want. So the cinematic mode in your smartphone will not suddenly make your footage look cinematic. All you need is one click. This is just a marketing tool. So my point is 90% of people or even higher don't shoot movie with a smartphone, but both of the company just spent lots of time talking about, wow, cinematic video, wow, you can shoot movie with your smartphone, that kind of stuff. But if you really want to shoot a movie or a cinematic footage out of your smartphone, a $100 smartphone will be enough. We can focus pull by yourself, we can control ISO and shutter speed, we can control everything. And if you download the third party app, you can even control the picture profile and the video bitrate with a $100 smartphone. So the best camera on a smartphone needs to have two stuff. Out of the box, awesome photos and videos. The second one will be manual mode and that will be enough. Okay, so this is the end of this video. So if you like this video, press like, make sure you subscribe my YouTube channel to check out more videos like this. If you want to watch more filmmaking stuff, check out this playlist. My name is Kai Wan and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.